Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create post pagination for your blogger website. So post pagination means you can divide your post into multiple pages. So if you have a really long post, then it is a good idea to divide it into multiple pages. Now in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to do this uh, in WordPress using a plugin. But in Blogger, we don't have any plugin support. So we have to do everything by our own. So I'm going to divide this video into three parts. In the first video, we will just design the pagination. And in the second video, we will add JavaScript to make it work and uh, make everything dynamic. And in the third video, I will show you how to add it to your blogger website. So let's get started. So I have created a folder called pagination and I just opened it with Visual Studio Code. So this is the code editor that we're going to be using. Right, so let's go ahead and create a new file. So I'll just click on new file and we'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a file for the CSS. So we'll just create a new file with the name style.css and we'll create one more file called main.js for all the JavaScript. Right, let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, so let's link our style.css file over here. So in the head section, I'll just type link and in the href, we'll just type style.css and let's also link our JavaScript file. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab and here I'll just type main.js. Alright, now for the post content, we will create a division with a class of page content and we will have it as the outer division. So I'll just create a division and I'll just give it a class of page content. And for each of the pages that we want in our post, we will create a division with a class of page. In VS Code, you can just type dot page and press tab and it will create this division with a class of page for you. All right, in this page, let's go ahead and add some content. So I'll just type P and I'll just add some random content. I'll just copy this a couple more times. All right, this is the content for our first page. Now let's copy this and uh, we will create another page. So this is the second page and we will have one more page. So we have three pages over here. Let's make some changes in the content for the other pages. So here I just delete the first paragraph. And for the last page, we'll just have one paragraph so that we'll be able to understand which page is active. All right, that's it with all the content for our post. So whatever content we have in our blogger post, we're going to add inside this division right here. And we're going to divide our post into different pages using this division with a class of page. So you can add as many pages as you want in your post. You should not add a lot of pages for your post because uh, that will be difficult for the user to read your content. Maybe two or three pages uh, can be okay. All right, that's it with the content of our post. Now after that, we need to have the pagination. So we have to display the page numbers. So let's create a division for that. We'll just create a division with a class of, uh, let's say, pagination container. In that, we'll have the page numbers. And for the page numbers, we'll create one more container division. We'll just give it a class name of page numbers container. And in that, we'll have the page numbers. For now, we'll just add some page numbers over here so that we can style it. But later, we'll remove the pages from here and we will dynamically add the pages using JavaScript. But for now, we have three pages over here in our post. So let's create a division with a class of page number. And in that, we'll just type one. And I'll just duplicate this uh, two more times and uh, we'll have two and three. So these are our page numbers. Now let's open this in our browser. So here I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So you can just search for it over here and install it. Once you install it, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. Alright, here you can see we have our content displayed over here. Now all the pages are displayed at once because we didn't add any styles. Alright, now let's add an active class for the page numbers and also the pages. So at the beginning we have the first page displayed. So here for the first page number, we'll just type active so that we can style it differently. And uh, let's go to the first page over here. And uh, for the first page we will add a class of active. Now using CSS, we'll just display the page that has the active class. Alright, so now let's go to our CSS and let's start styling the page. 
let's start styling the pagination container. So here we can see we have this division with a class of pagination container. So let's target that. And uh, let's set a display of flex and let's bring it to the center. So let's type justify content to the center. Now using display of flex can be easier for you to position the elements correctly. All right, now let's go ahead and style the page number container. So all the page numbers are inside this division called page numbers container. So let's target that. So we just type pagination container and page numbers container. All right, let's add a background color so that we can see it clearly. So I'll just type background and we'll just set red so that uh, we can see it. All right now let's set the display to flex for the page numbers container. And now we can see that all the page numbers are one next to the other. Let's go ahead and change the font size to 18 pixels. And we'll also set the font weight to bold. And we'll set the font family to Roboto. And we'll also set a border radius of 20 pixels so that we'll have rounded corners. And lastly, let's also add a box shadow. And we'll give values of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and uh, 0 0.3. Right now, let's remove the background color from here. Right now, let's style each of the page numbers inside the page numbers container. So let's type page numbers container, page number. And uh, we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels and uh, 24 pixels. And uh, let's set a style for the hover. So let's type page numbers container page number colon hover. And when we hover over it, we want to have a background color of C5, C5, E9. And we also want the cursor to turn to pointer. Right now, let's hover over this. And we can see that we have the different color. Let's also add a smooth transition. Alright, now we can see we have the hover state, but uh, we have the rounded corners over here, but when we hover over it, we don't have the rounded corners. So for that, you can add overflow of hidden to the parent. So this is the parent division. So here we'll just type overflow hidden. Now let's hover over this and we can see that everything works all right. Alright, now let's add some styles for the active page number. So here you can see for the first page number, we have this class called active. So let's add a different style for that. So here we'll just type page numbers container page number dot active. And also make sure that you don't have any space between these two classes because we want the division to have both these classes for these styles to work. So let's type a background color of 6161F7. And we'll also set the color of the text to white. Right now we can see that for the first active page number, we have a different style. Let's change the active class from here and uh, let's add it over here in the second page number. Now we can see for the second page number, we have this style. So everything is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is for the page content, we want to display only the page that has the active class. So let's go back to our style.css and uh, I'll just add a comment. I'll just type page content. And here we'll type page content. So this is the division with the class of page content. And in that we have the divisions with the class of page. So let's target that page. And we'll set the display to none by default. Now we can see no page is being displayed over here. But we will display the contents of the page that has the active class. So let's type page content dot page dot active and uh, we'll set the display to block. Now we can see only the first page is being displayed over here. So we can see we have three paragraphs. And in the first page, we can see we have three paragraphs. If you remove this active class from here, and if we add it to the second, or well, let's add it to the third page. Now we can see we have the third page being displayed over here. All right, that's it with the CSS of our pagination. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add JavaScript and make it work. So we'll create these page numbers dynamically using JavaScript based on the number of pages we have in our post.
so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day